Okay, this is episode 7, this is going to be about console commands and debugging. Um, so, first console commands, uh, console.write, that's just a nice appealing way of letting the user input stuff. So, and uh, here, and you can do, I'll just leave it like that. You would obviously do a, uh, something equals a dim a as string equals console.readline or something, but you get the idea, they can type on the same line as this so that's generally that and it means that if you're having those statistics that means you can have a lot more on the visible screen rather than going down each line or you know it's just a lot nicer and you can get more on a line um, so next I'm going to be showing you uh, console colors um, so foreground colors you could do console color blue and then I'm going to also copy and paste this and I'll put a line here so there we are you see they're both blue that's because these are both blue so if I set this to yellow you'll see that you can actually change the color so it doesn't affect the previous color um, also what you can do is console.background uh, Change the background color, and then I'll set it equal to uh, cyan for this, and then for this, um, I'll set this to green. There's only so many colors you can do. By the way, one thing I should know, you should note, is the default color for the foreground is gray, not white, and then obviously the background is black. Um, so you can see here what this background color does is like highlights the text, which is nice. Um, so let's do show you console.clear. So you have text here and do console.clear does exactly what it says. Um, it just clears the screen. So there was a 1, 2, 3 there, you just didn't see it and it cleared it instantly. Um, one cool trick you can do if I move this up to the top here, it doesn't need to be at the top. If you do console.background uh, color, it's equal to set it to red. Um, there, then it makes the whole window red rather than just like the selected text, which is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, that. Uh, there's also console dot beep, and this makes a sound. Console dot title. Um, so you can just see if I had a read line, it will have a title here. Hello. Uh, that's pretty much it. One thing I will show you is there's a box selection. This is not a bit off topic. If you hold Shift and Alt and then click here and then drag, you can select like a box rather than going like line, line, line. Then I can like delete that. I don't know that you would want to, but yeah. So that's good. Um, so finally, if I make a little for loop here, uh, console dot right line I I'll do I plus one make it nicer so if you access the system namespace so system dot threading namespace dot thread class dot sleep uh, sub then in here it takes one actually no it does it's got a timeout I don't know what that is I haven't used that but wait anyway, this um, milliseconds so Oh, is it the same thing? Just as a time span? No, oh, whatever. Um, so if I set this to a thousand, this will wait. Uh, it basically does a read line kind of thing. It pauses the thing for that would do one second. So thousand milliseconds equal to one second. So remember that. Um, so now they'll come in every second. So that's nice. Just makes it a bit nicer to read information. Okay, now the second part of this video is going to be about debugging. Here, what we've got is a for loop. So I'm going to do dim a as integer is equal to 10. And then I'm going to say, make this 1 to 5. I'm going to say a plus equals i. So th this is for complicated algorithms. Obviously, this isn't complicated. Um, this will return 25, I think. Um, 
so eventually after this will be 25 but let's say you want to know halfway through what it's done so I'm going to put a break here and then press play and then it will close the window because it's made a break point so this lets you check the variables at the state in which they are now so if you hover over A it says A is equal to 10 um, so that's good if you um, and I doesn't work because I hasn't been created yet. This breakpoint means um, in between here it's broke after the dim statement but before the for loop. So that's what that is. Um, got a little thing from last time here and I'll show you that what that is now. Uh, so one thing quickly if I move this down to here then I can click here and then so I equals 1 and again uh, I equals 10 because this hasn't done anything yet. If you play it again, then I equals 11 because the, the 1 got added on. Now I equals 2, now it's going to add 2 to 11, and this will get 13. And you get the picture, and then you can turn it off if you want to just carry on like normal. And then it carries on with the window. Um, so another thing where you can do something like that is do debug um, dot right line. Now this is good for um nice no, is a before probably should put a after because you know what it is before so what this does it writes down to here so if I go up um so you can see a is equal to eleven and I'll probably should put bait point or something but from the last uh bits but it goes through and displays everything here. So this is in the immediate window tab, not the locals tab. So it just helps, especially when you're doing form and you haven't got console right line. It's nice to be able to have this. And when the user gets the application, if you publish it or whatever, you can leave the debugs in here because um, they won't see this. They won't only see the actual thing. It won't affect the actual program in any way. Uh, there's also a debug uh, a, uh, dot right line if and then that takes um, so this is true comma a so it's basically saying if so a so same put in true output if one equals if one is greater than zero it's basically saying if one's zero greater than zero then debug dot right line a that's basically what it does just all in one line so that's basically that finally one last thing I forgot to add is if you're about these line numbers here because it doesn't come on by default now I'm in 2010 Express version, so bear that in mind, it might be slightly different view. If you're in the options, so uh, tools, let me do it, show it again, tools, options, and then text editor, basic, um, and then line numbers here. So if I take that off, it's gone. If we go back, uh, basic line numbers, and I think that does it as well. So yeah.